My family have held our vigil over these majestic swathes of countryside for generations. My roots are deep here, and the success and survival of Cuatro Colinas Game Reserve is my primary responsibility. And now, my old friend, we are reunited. It's been a long time since we last worked together, but I know you're going to be essential to my plans for the future. I trust that you slept well last night and you're ready for your Castilian adventure. After all these years of promising to show you Cuatro Colinas, your first day on the reserve has arrived. It means a great deal to me that you made this journey. I have every confidence that you're going to love hunting here. Alright guys, so welcome back to Call of the Wild. So today, I wanted to do the missions. Obviously we do this every single time we get a reserve. And, I've heard from a lot of you guys that these ones are kind of special. Colinas, my friend. I hope you like the view. Discover Bosk Vista. Okay. So I'm guessing we just got to survey the area and it's going to kind of give us everything that we've pretty much seen before. So, if you guys are wondering as well, this is now back on my save. I'm no longer on a kind of dev branch. So I'm going to have to unlock everything. That's why things might look different. But here we go. Standing here, you are following in the footsteps of Spanish dukes and kings, as well as every generation of my family for the past three centuries. You should be able to see Casa Alfonso from there. Okay. So it's this one down here. What was it called? Casa Alfonso. When you have sampled enough of the view, take the walk down to the outpost. I mean, we have seen this before. Again, this map is beautiful, but there's no map that they've released which isn't, in my opinion. And that's not me just saying, you know, everything they do is fantastic. The maps themselves are all, like, they've all got their own special little thing about them. Our watchtowers are built on the foundations of military outposts that used to oversee this region. While these sites were originally chosen for their strategic placement and their potential to spot approaching forces, they are now perfect vantage points for hunters and tourists alike. You guys hear that? Hey, friend. Ah, oh, they're scampering. Got him! <laughs> I really don't ever go for the rabbits, but lately I have been. Like, the last few times I've been playing, and you may have seen them in a couple of videos too. I don't know, I've, I've kind of changed my opinion on it a little bit. It's, it's, it's just a little bit fun. <laughs> right, what do we get? Male, nothing special, trivial, single lung. All right, so here we go. My favorite place, find the trailhead for Alejandra's secret hunting spot. Find animal tracks, optional, track an animal bites call. Okay, I'm just going to make my way to the point of interest because I don't want to miss anything, including the narration. If you're new to stuff like this, I'm going to give you a quick heads up. There's usually a lot of narration in these because it's more following the storyline for each reserve. And then I'll kind of jump in after they finish speaking and... We'll do our own thing. You have go. ears like a bat. Are you going to pursue? Should we pursue? I can hear it. It's just over there to the northwest. Got some poop here too. I see your tracking skills are as sharp as ever. I'm sure you're going to enjoy your hunts here. Okay, so this is one of the things that I did bring up when me and Taco first played. If anything goes in these sunflower fields, anything especially small like, like a rabbit or... You know, maybe even the wolves and stuff. You're gonna... You're gonna have a hard time tracking them. This rabbit it is right in front of us somewhere. Oh, I saw something. Got it. That's so hard. To actually see through the sunflowers like that. They just have so much cover to hide behind. Alright, is she going to be impressed? I mean, we got it low. Inside the, uh... Like the armpit area. The male, what do we get? Lung shot. Okay, nice. She didn't say anything either. I thought she'd be impressed with us. This is the start of the trail that leads to my own little patch of heaven on earth. You're nearly there. Alright, here we go. This is her secret hunting spot. You have arrived. Is it not stunning? Recently, I've only come here to meditate. 
It is so ethereal and serene, even when the rain is falling. No. When I first invited you to visit, I assumed that I would be coming home to host you as a visitor, spending time here before traveling abroad once again. With my return being prompted by my mother's passing instead, my focus has been entirely on work, instead of enjoying the very places that bring me comfort. Why do they always have to make it really sad? I am pleased that I was able to show you this. In a way, I got to experience it vicariously. Of course, it's also one of our best spots to go hunting. Senor Baden, our company for last night, appears to be enjoying his time here as well. He's a unique fellow, but quite charming in his own way. Apparently, he has harvested a pair of ibex already. I think someone is trying to market themselves as a worthy competitor. I think it's time for you to remind me what you can do. I'd like for you to harvest an animal. Okay. Any animal. So, a couple of things. I think she said, Baden. You guys have watched the previous missions that we've done on other reserves. You'll recognize that name. I don't want to say it because it else might spoil it for someone that wants to go back. But if you know, you know. Second thing. That is another melanistic. I'm almost positive of it. That's the second one I've seen in playing this reserve on a handful of times. You can tell why we call it the demon goat. I should go for that because it'd be cool. But something's telling me that you guys are going to want me to go for like one of these. Look at the size of those. Three, four. I think this guy's the biggest. I really want the demon goat. What the? Oh, did, what's? Demon goat! No, I missed! I know my other one's down. I'm going to try and track this thing. Did you guys see what he did? Oh my god! It burrowed into the ground. Now you guys know. Now you know. That's why we call them Demon Goat. Is this it? Is this the Melanistic? I think it is. You're there we go. You're going to need to do enough hunting for both of us, it would seem. The administrative part of my role is something I am still getting used to. Sadly, it prevents me from spending any time on the reserve with you, or getting to know my neighbors. Cuatro Colinas is mostly composed of my family's estate, but includes several tracts of public land with public roads. Because I'm overseeing the reserve, I need to work with the local government to ensure that the public roads are kept safe. There is a stretch of road in particular that is extremely dangerous. It has a steep cliff on one side, and drivers need to slow right down or risk a perilous drop. But I have asked the mayor to take care of it, and he told me that I have to wait a month for him to send a crew. I'd have my handyman Julio deal with it, but the poor old soul is laid up in bed with pneumonia. I was able to go into town and retrieve some replacements. Unfortunately, I was in a rush and had to attend a meeting, so I wasn't able to put them up. So basically what I'm getting from that is some poor dude's got pneumonia who can't take a look at the road signs that have mysteriously vanished, making the already dangerous road even more dangerous. Now also, I know I've said this before, but if you haven't, and this doesn't apply just for Quattro Colinas, if you are looking to make money in the game, I can't stress enough, doing the story missions, I mean you've just seen alone, that one goat that I shot, just because it was the story mission, 2,000 credits. Like, if you want to grind credits, missions are definitely the way to go. Amongst other things, but I would always suggest missions. Wait, is Baden trying to throw some shade? Well, at least now I know you're capable of killing a couple of old goats. If I've learned anything while amassing my collection of hunting trophies, is that a true husband isn't afraid to go after prey that can fight back. <laughs> Think you can harvest a pair of wild boars. Okay, listen here, Baden. Shut your mouth. You're in the right spot. I left the sign so you'd be able to find them easily. Once you've retrieved the signs, there are poles about 30 meters from the bend in either direction. Attach the signs to the poles. Road fix a call of the wild. Place sign. This isn't even the first time this has happened. I've heard of drunk people stealing traffic cones, but this must be something else. 
I never quite understood why people steal traffic cones either. Like, what's the eventual goal? To wear it on your head? That's it? <laughs> For now, though, we have something else to take care of. My neighbor Manuel is a goat herd who has been raising goats here for 25 years, and one of his goats has gone missing. Apparently, it is his favorite, Paloma. <laughs> Paloma! This might seem like a small concern, but he has assisted my family on many occasions. I want to repay his kindness. Then why don't you do it then? Manuel has told me of an isolated tree that Paloma uses to hide from the rain. Perhaps that's a good place to start your search. It stands on its own, so it should be easy to find. Okay. Isolated tree. We gotta find Paloma the goat. <laughs> okay, so we're 150 out. I'm gonna call it, guys. I've got a feeling that Paloma has been eaten by wolves. You're getting close to the tree that Manuel mentioned. Can you see any sign of Paloma? Not yet. Not seeing any carcasses or anything. <gasps> I called it! There she is. All right, what's she got? So she's got bite marks on her neck. Looks like she's got a bite mark on her hind as well. Report the carcass. I will be sure to take a trip to visit Manuel this evening so I can inform him in person. I will take some flowers. What? What? The body. It appears that she was killed and then abandoned. Surprising behavior for a predator. Are there any clues as to what did this? I call wolves, and I'm seeing wolf tracks. These prints were left by a wolf, but this is strange behavior. The wolves tend not to take prey from this part of the reserve, but maybe one got desperate. We ought to investigate this further and track down the creature that did this. Why is that strange behavior? It's essential that even if we don't catch it, we ensure that it hasn't lingered in the area, putting the other ghosts at risk. It does appear that the tracks are leading away from the pasture, though. With any luck, the wolf won't come back. Disappearing road signs, wolves that kill but don't eat. These are not the sort of events I expected out here. At least, they never used to be. Since taking over responsibility for the reserve from my father while he gets better, I have started to realize just how much effort goes into maintaining Cuatro Colinas. I find myself too busy with the small tasks of running the reserve, making it impossible to deal with anything else. I had planned to take him to visit my mother's memorial today. A close family friend, Padre Abbas, has made a wreath and offered to go in our stead. I wonder if he got a chance to visit. I apologize. You don't need to hear this. I should get back to work. Is Paloma still there? <laughs> Paloma's still there. I don't actually know. For some people, that might be a sad thing. I mean, maybe it's like losing a family pet, but I just find it really funny when she said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take flowers around to their house. <laughs> like, it's a really bad thing, but like I say, it might be like that for some people when they lose goats and stuff. They might treat them like family pets, so who am I to judge? The one criticism that I will give to Call of the Wild's missions is it's not that I don't enjoy the missions. They're great. The actual narrations themselves is very well done. But it feels like it can go on and on and on. It just probably needs to be tightened up a little bit with a few less lines because more often than not, people just kind of want to hear what they've got to do and then get to the objective. Then if there's something going down there, then maybe a little bit more narration. But I just think sometimes I feel like it goes on a little bit too long and it keeps you waiting, takes you out of that immersive feel. Photograph the memorial to Donna Garcia. I can't believe we actually haven't come across this, unless it's just in the story missions. That's actually really cool looking. Alright, let's break out the uh, camera and... Gotta get that perfect shot. You're at the memorial. You did not have to travel up there on my behalf. But I am very grateful for the picture. <sighs> Padre made the trip after all, it seems. His wreaths are so beautiful, don't you think? Don't pull on my heart he makes them from wild flowers that he finds on his travels. My mother used to make them too. No, don't do it. I don't know why the devs insist on like making you feel really bad when you play these missions. It tells you like people that may have passed and stuff. I don't want it. I want none of it. That road here might get smacked now because I'm so stressed. Well, let's dial at 75. Okay, let's tidy up the memorial. She was such a wonderful person. 
She always tried to get the most out of every day. She never seemed to rest. It's a shame that you never met her. I think you two would have got on well. She loved walking those trails as much as anyone else I've ever met. <laughs> My father used to joke that she only married him so she could spend her weekends in the woods. Hi. <laughs> since we lost her, I've been trying to keep it together here, but I honestly don't know if I'm doing enough. I thought that revitalizing the outpost would help, but we need more. The Reserve's resident vet has some concerns following your discovery of the dead goat and the wolf tracks. Oh, here we go. If a wolf strays out of his usual territory and kills a goat but does not feed, it can be an indicator of rabies. <gasps> it's a worst case scenario, but we should consider it just in case. Oh, I hope they've done that. I hope they've there given an animal rabies. There are potential reasons for this behavior. <sighs> the thing is, this isn't the first time this has happened. It's not public knowledge, but I feel that now is the time to tell you. My mother's passing was... She was killed in a wolf attack. Oh my god! <laughs> my father spent days afterwards trying to hunt down the wolf that did it. But ultimately there is no way of knowing. He returned home and hasn't hunted since. I won't let it happen again. We need to establish if this is an isolated case, or if there's a wider problem that we must tackle. First things first. We need a sample from a wolf in its home range. If it turns out to have signs of rabies, we know that we have a problem. Okay. If not, then we can adjust our strategy and explore any alternative possibilities. You can still harvest it, but we need the brain, so that we can run some tests. See, that actually makes me feel even worse now that we know how her mother died. Because we were laughing and joking around, and then all of a sudden, she hits us with that bombshell. That maybe the wolves could have rabies, that's why they're acting up. And, not to mention, oh, by the way, my mum was killed by a wolf. It's not something you kind of leave out, especially to someone who's trying to help you with this reserve. You might want to say that from the get-go, you know? You got some crazy wolves running around this reserve. I probably need to know about that. Alright, I think what I'm going to do then... He's make my way to an outpost. I'm going to make sure that I've got everything in terms of supplies and stuff that I need before we set back out and look for evidence of rabies with the wolves. Whoa. What was that? That's wolves, isn't it? Oh, they've definitely got rabies. Oh, oh, what are you? Oh! You look so cool! Go down! Go down, wolf! Just go down! <laughs> no! If you got rabies, no, I'm... Why are you not going down? What in the hell? Is... <sighs> oh my! Oh, I've got more incoming. Oh, it sounds like two or three more. Oh, here we go. Oh, here's... The, oh, God, here's the rest of the pack. One. You gotta go down off that. That was a good hit, even though it was more towards the rear. Don't do it! No, wolf! Stop it! Go down, wolf. Even though it's absolutely terrifying when they do that, I really want to know what this fur type is. Nicely done. Our vet is offering to work out of hours, so I am hoping to have answers soon. I'll let you know if the test indicate rabies. If it turns out to be the case, I hope we've caught it early. Please exercise extra caution and let me know if you find anything out of the ordinary. I am having the strangest day. I just received a call from Sole Santiago, one of my neighbors. She is an olive farmer who has become a, a de facto representative for most of the people working the land here. She told me that one of our farmers has had his barn broken into, which is strange enough for a barn in the middle of nowhere. What makes it truly bizarre 
is that this farmer's tractor has had the tires slashed. <laughs> Apparently, there are footprints that lead from the barn. I know that you weren't planning on chasing any people during your time here, but if you could put your tracking prowess to use, I'd appreciate it. I'm going for that. Santiago told me that the farmer who owned the tractor was opening up this morning when he spotted that the lock on the barn was broken. Sometimes neighbors get a little petty and do stupid things, but Armando is such a sweet man. He wakes up early, tends to his crops, and goes home. I can't imagine anybody wanting to do this to him. He seems pretty surprised about it all too. The color of this wolf. I don't think I've really paid attention to that gray color that's on the Iberian wolves. I love that. Like that iconic kind of black gray mixed in with the white as well. God, I love that. All right, let's confirm. What do we get? We dropped it straight away. 844. It's nice. Look at it. And if you were wondering as well, what is the difference between the wolves on Yukon and on this one, it's all in the face. Like, it's literally all in the face. They look so different. I really like these. All right, guys. So I think this is where we're going to end it for this episode of the missions. Now, in the next episode, we've got to pick up trying to... I think she said, yeah, find the sabotage tractor, which she said somebody slashed the farmer's tires. So it's a little bit unique to Call of the Wild. we got somebody who's causing loads of trouble. So we're going to find out in the next episode. But as always, if you did enjoy it, guys, drop a like below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one.